I think Valorant is a, has a much better like community and is a much better game for women than CS:GO at least ever was. You know, I always thought of like Overwatch as the game that had a lot of like female players and like had a better community, but I think Valorant has even like surpassed that now, and it's definitely a lot better, but it's not perfect, of course. I'm at the point now where like I don't personally worry about going into a game and having people like be weird or like make me uncomfortable. But again, that's just because like the level that I'm at, like people know my name, like I don't have like a stream mode on, I don't have it like hidden. Like people know me and they know that they're gonna get in trouble if they mess with me. But I think that for like, you know, every other woman who plays the game on like a day-to-day -day basis, it's still pretty hard to <laughs> um, like go into a game and be confident that you're gonna have a good experience. Hi, I'm Kat, aka Katsumi. I play professional Valorant for Cloud9 White, and here is my story presented by AT&T. So I actually, so I played a lot of CSGO, but I was actually taking a break from kind of gaming in general. Um, I was working for the IT line at my university. Like I basically just took phone calls all day and um, my coworkers were like, hey, like Valorant Beta just came out. And I was like, no, I cannot play that. Um, but they convinced me eventually. And in that summer where the beta was out, um, I was actually working an internship. I moved from the IT job into, I was doing software development for an insurance company. The project that they had set up for me like didn't really end up working out so they didn't have a lot for me to do or as much as they expected so I would literally just like be playing Valorant. <laughs> Don't tell them that but um, CSGO and Valorant are the only FPS games that I've ever played and I only played CS and then I only played Valorant like I, I always like to focus on one and I like to be the best at that game that I'm playing. Um, and every other game that I play like it's pretty much entirely casual. Uh, I think confidence is like one of the most important things to have as a player um, and it's it's not something that's easy to come across like there are some people who will just have an ego just because they exist like they, they have they have no need to like find something that like backs it up in their mind that they are always the best and that makes you a better player to just like always believe that you are the best no matter your results or no matter how you're playing and that is not something that has been easy for me to do and learn um, it's you know still a, still a process still a struggle every day to just always believe that I'm the best player in the server, even if I'm not playing well in the moment. But it's been kind of a journey to realize like that is something that I need to be good at in order to succeed as a pro player. And yeah. I think my progress in game is like crazy, honestly. I mean, maybe that's a little like, much for me to say, but I, I literally came into Valorant, like no competitive experience. I was didn't really know anything and at the time I didn't know that I didn't know anything but <laughs> but looking at where I am now to like where I was three months ago six months ago nine months ago is just like I'm really proud of the progress that I've made and I think that I have a lot more to show yeah and I I just feel like I'm not plateauing anytime soon so I first met Mel over Twitter DMs um, she was looking for a team with Miss Harvey for this like very small women's tournament in beta and I reached out to her hoping to play, um, but they were full. Um, and I competed with a different team. Um, we didn't do too well, but after that tournament happened, Mel ended up reaching out to me again and saying like, hey, like I'm forming like a real team that's gonna practice and that's gonna compete and I want you to join. We competed as a free agent team or as Magical in the FTW Summer Showdown. And after we won that, Cloud9, um, basically reached out and wanted to sign us and to have them reach out to us um, really felt like the beginning of something super special um, and that's crazy like that's so it's so insane to me that like I get to be a part of this team and like really like be there from the beginning of the game and the beginning of the women's scene and like really be like like honestly like the like the founding team of that um, but at the same time I don't want that to be like the like 
key or like the highlight, like the only thing that people look at when they see my career. And I'm hoping that there will be a lot more to look forward to. And <laughs> I think so far, with at least my career in Valorant, everything feels so like close-knit and it's, you know, all the same people and the same teams that you hear of and you play against. And to finally really like, not only like travel, but just compete against this, like these global teams coming from everywhere. I think it'll be a really crazy experience and it'll just be a lot more meaningful to know that like this is, it really is a global thing and that I'm accomplishing and that the team is accomplishing. Um, I'm really excited to play against the G2 roster specifically just because those names on that team I've heard of for you know as long as I've played Valorant and even when I into when I played CSGO and I think it'll be a really great opportunity for the team to just like feel what that competition is like not just within our region because you know we play against the same teams every Game Changers, every Game Changers final and to just like have that competition come from somewhere else is a really exciting prospect. For different reasons as each Game Changers tournament happened, there was a different reason why people were speculating that we were going to be taken over, or someone else was going to win, um, and to prove those doubts wrong every single time and to keep doing it is a really great feeling. And yeah, I just have no doubt in my mind that every time we go into one of these tournaments, the work that we've put in really shows um, and continues to show. With the progress and the investment that Riot has really made into the women's team and like women's teams and women's like circuit. Um, I am really excited and I really hope that this is going to be like the first instance of an esport where women are really integrated into like the main circuit um, and there we'll see a lot more mixed teams. Um, and honestly for me, I'm personally really excited um, to hopefully be a part of that. Um, and that's honestly like the next goal in my mind of where I envision my career going. Yeah, so my advice for any women at like at like a lower level or at a lower rank is to just don't let these toxic people bring you down and stop you from competing and stop you from loving the game and it's easier said than done but finding a support system that will help you and does just want you to succeed um is so important and it's possible um yeah i'm so grateful to have people who aren't really working with me out of like their necessity like they don't have to be there they don't have to help me fix things but they just want to and they want to see me succeed as a player and as a person and they'll sit there with me for hours and like talk to me just like talk to me about like things and like whether it's like in game or they'll like watch a VOD with me or something but I just have so many different people who are willing to I don't know just be there and help me um it's really great I guess I really just want to be known as just like an insane player um, and I've always wanted that to be what I'm known for without the tag of like four women or like she's a really great female player like I've always just wanted to be a great player in everyone's mind yeah, and I think the team I'm I'm really excited for us to start you know showing more and beating a lot of these you know like tier two like reaching into tier one teams. Um, I think that is a really realistic goal for us that I hope to accomplish. Um, yeah, thank you to the fans and everyone for always supporting us and thank you to AT&T for helping us tell our story. <laughs>